the Minister for Hajj and Umrah of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia visited Pakistan earlier this week. He was leading a high-level delegation that included members from Saudi ministries of foreign affairs, interior, communication, tourism, and the Civil Aviation Authority. The minister called on President Dr. Arif Alvi, Prime Minister Anwarul Haq Kakar, and Governor Sindh Kamran Tisori, and held comprehensive talks with Minister for Religious Affairs and Interfaith Harmony, Anik Ahmed. The visit was an important opportunity for the two sides to discuss arrangements for Pakistani pilgrims for Umrah and the Hajj, increase in Hajj quota for Pakistanis, matters relating to Umrah visas, and the possible extension of the Road to Mecca project to major airports of Pakistan during the upcoming Hajj season. An air services agreement was also signed during the visit between, between civil aviation authorities of the two countries to streamline Hajj services. A 60-year-old civilian, Mr. Ghayas, from Kotli district of Azad, Jammu and Kashmir was killed as a result of unprovoked firing of Indian forces on 21 August 2023. The incident took place in the Nikail sector of the line of control. This was a direct violation of the 2003 ceasefire understanding reaffirmed in February 2021. We have strongly protested this latest provocation from the Indian side and emphasized the vital importance of maintaining peace along the LOC. Pakistan urges India to conduct an investigation into the incident and to honor the ceasefire understanding. The Indian forces must also exercise extreme caution and desist from targeted innocent civilians. The UN Special Procedures for Human Rights have again expressed serious concerns about the revocation of Jammu and Kashmir's special status by the Indian occupation forces and imposition of restrictions on freedom of expression, assembly, and association against civil society actors, human rights defenders, political figures, and journalists in IIOJK. These concerns were conveyed in a communication dated 8th of August by the UN Special Rapporteur on the Promotion and Protection of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms while Countering Terrorism, Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, Special Rapporteur on the Promotion and Protection of the Rights of Freedom of Opinion and Expression, Special Rapporteur on the Rights to Freedom of peaceful assembly and of association, special rapporteur on the situation of human rights defenders, and the special rapporteur on freedom of religion and belief. The special procedures have also highlighted that the framework of India's counterterrorism laws is ripe for human rights abuse and potential violations of India's obligations under international human rights law particularly the obligation to respect, protect, and fulfill the rights to equality and non-discrimination, the rights to freedom of expression and freedom of association, and the right to liberty and security of person. The UN Special Procedures have already issued multiple communications on individual allegations of human rights violations in IIOJK, including arbitrary detention, extrajudicial killings, and forced disappearances, torture, ill-treatment, intimidation, and reprisals. 